into our team selector then ahead of Inter Milan's visit to Anfield for the Champions League. Last 16, second leg. Liverpool leading 2-0 going into the game. And I'm going to say they'll have Alisson Becker in goal. Theo, what will the bat for be? Um, Trent, the returning Matip, Van Dijk and Andy Robertson. It's still the first choice back four. And then you're hoping that Liverpool may be 1-2-0 up on the hour mark and you can throw Simicass in there or Joe Gomez or Canate bury it up, but you start with your strongest back four and it, that's what it is at the moment. Is that what you go along with, Richard, or do you... Do you? I've, I've got the same. Yeah, the only question mark was over whether he kept Canate ahead of Matip, but if, if Matip's fit, uh, I fancy him to come back in. Canate was brilliant, wasn't he, in the, the first leg in San Siro. Matt, would you be minded to start him? Yeah, I'd be tempted by Canate. I mean, obviously, we don't know exactly how ill Joel Matip has been. I think Jurgen Klopp said three or four days he was was out for, so it's not exactly like he's got a you know a big recovery to to do off the back of that. So, um, yeah, I, I'm tempted by Canate to be honest, and I think maybe maybe leave Matip until the the weekend. But the bottom line is, with all of these, which whichever way round it is, I don't think it'll make much difference. All right, Richard, what's the midfield three going to be? Keeping it quite strong and solid here. Uh, Fabino, Henderson and the returning Thiago, if he if he's ready to go. Just think uh, that, that gives you the right right solidity, really, to uh, to uh, kind of answer the questions that are going to be asked by Inter Milan. And uh, as Theo says, hopefully he can get a couple of early goals and, and then ultimately make changes. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the big debate is over whether or not Thiago does start. Matt, you said before you don't start him. So what's your midfield three? I think Fabinho and, and Henderson are pretty nailed on certainties to, to to start the game, and then it's just a case of of one other, isn't it? I think there's a decent Ar- uh, Harvey Elliott argument to be made. Obviously, he played in in the first leg, didn't particularly do that well in that one. Got got taken off, didn't he? I mean, it wasn't wasn't a poor performance by any means, but it was just kind of not maybe the the right game for him. So that maybe edges me away from from picking him. But I think it's. It's probably one for Naby Keita. I think he was was okay at the weekend. Didn't do anything spectacular, but you know did did absolutely fine. And I think that's that's what you need. So I'd probably go Naby Keita. Wouldn't shock me if it was Harvey Elliott. Wouldn't shock me if it was Curtis Jones. But yeah, Fabinho, Henderson, and Naby did make a good defensive block at one stage as well, didn't he? Naby Keita rushing. He back. also missed the header in order to. Get, yeah, to do that, but yeah, yeah, all right. I'm just saying, is it something that normally is always seen too much from him? Is that defensive work, Theo? Who are you siding with, Rich or, or Matt? Or are you going to pick a completely abstract uh midfield three? That's at Madison 97. If you want to have a go at him for those <laughs> navigator comments, there just remember that, at Madison 97. Um, but having said that, I, I am siding with Matt, and I reckon I'd start navigator, uh, Fabinho and Henderson just because uh, I don't like Henderson on the left-hand side. And when you start Harvey Elliott, Henderson has to be on the left-hand side and it's just, it doesn't flow as well. Um, I agree that you, you don't want to throw Thiago in when he's just back from injury, when he can be so crucial for the rest of the season. It feels a better game to give him 20, 30 minutes. Um, and then so Oxide chamberlain he, he's not been at his best the last couple of appearances. Curtis Jones, I think it'd be a bold shout to put him in. I'm not saying he's not good enough or we wouldn't see it from Jurgen Klopp, but it, it does seem more where you'll stick with Cater and Anderson with Fabinho Elden. You've got to remember how good the two of them were when they came on at the San Siro. Um, that, that worked then. Hopefully it works again now and then you can maybe make those changes on the hour mark. OK, no worries. Uh, Matt, then, what about the, the front three, the forward line? How's that looking? Yeah, this is this is a hard one, isn't it? Obviously, with with players coming back, I don't think we'll see Roberto Firmino. I think he was the the least likely of of the returning players to to play a part in this. One might come off the bench. That wouldn't wouldn't be a massive shot with the the five subs. But I think Mohamed Salah pretty much nailed on um, as he would be, but particularly because he came off a little bit earlier than possibly we would have expected at the weekend. So I think he'll be there. Um, I'd be going for Diogo Jota through the middle, and then it's a case of is it Sadio Mane? on the left or uh, Luis Diaz. I think probably just about edging towards Sadio Mane um, and then leave Luis Diaz to, to come off the, the sidelines. But yeah, it, it, it could go either way, to be honest. There's probably there's probably an argument, actually, that Sadio Mane now is, is going to play more and more through the middle. And so maybe you, you play Luis Diaz in this one and, and leave Mane to, to play centrally. But yeah, I think it'd be one or, or two of those. Jota and, and Salah pretty much would be, would be certainties for me, I think. Okay, Theo, what are you saying about the, the forward line? 
Um, pretty similar, to be honest. Salah starts, I think, Jota through the middle. He, he hasn't been at his best since he's come back from his injury, but he's had more time to train now. You think, hope this is a game where you can start and show a bit about yourself, uh, show that you're still there, you still should be starting some games. Um, this one with the five subs, you can just give him an hour, see how he does, and then take him off. And then Mane getting the edge on the left-hand uh, side. Um, you need some impact subs in case they're needed, and Diaz is going to be one of the best around. And then you can throw him in and unleash Diaz against Brighton at that half-12 kick-off on Saturday that we'll know how much Jurgen Klopp loves. Yeah, certainly travelling, I suppose, all the way down to the southeast. Having done the journey myself this weekend, yeah, it's not advisable for a 12.30 start. But anyway, Rich, what about yourself with that that front three? Is it time that Diaz does just get a, a slight rest and, and come and work his way off the bench? Yeah, I think that it's not a formality. Picking the front three just shows what Rich has uh, Klopp's got at his disposal now. But um, I'm afraid I'm going to be a bit boring and agree with uh, Matt and Theo. Uh, I'd go with uh, Salah. Uh, in his usual position, Mane on the other side and Jota through the middle. And I think, as you say, with Diaz, uh, slightly slightly more unpredictable player, uh, keep him in reserve in case he needs to produce some fireworks in the second half. But yeah, Salah, Jota, Mane. Yeah, no worries. OK, then let's go around with the predictions then. Um, Theo, start you off. Obviously, Liverpool already leading 2-0. What, what do you think the score is going to be on the night and therefore on aggregate? 2-0 on the night, 4-0 on aggregate. Um, it's Liverpool with a full Anfield behind them, roaring them on. Fancy them to get a clean sheet, and it's what they're good at, isn't it? These sorts of games should be enough to go through. Matt, you were nodding away in in agreement there. If you can't have the same 2 0 scoreline, what would you go? No, I'm joking. What's the score going to be? No, it's going to be 2 0. Uh, that's, that's what I'm going to go for. Um, I think, yeah, Liverpool showed that they were, were, were too good even when Inter played. Pretty well, I think, in the, the first leg. I think it would be uh, would be a big ask for, for Inter to to do too much in this one. I think Liverpool probably make light work of it. And what about yourself, Richard? Uh, I'm going to give them a slight chance um, and possibly nick a goal um, to make it interesting. But I still think Liverpool will have too much for them. So I'm going to go with 3-1 to Liverpool. 3-1. OK, we'll have to wait and see how it does play out then. Remember to check out all the action across the Liverpool Echo website, all the build-up, the uh, match blog, as well as plenty of reaction. And here on the Blood Red channel, we too will have plenty coming up for you ahead of and after the game, of course, including Jurgen Klopp's press conference following the full-time whistle. But from myself, Guy Clark, Matt Addison, Theo Squires and Richard Garner, thanks for your time and your company. It's bye for now.